You may have wondered why Dublin doesn't have towering skyscrapers. As I filmed this video, the tallest building in Dublin is Capital Dock, with a height of 79 meters. In comparison to the tallest buildings and skyscrapers in Chicago, the Willis Tower, with a height of 527 meters to the tip. Not to mention the 828 meters Burj Khalifa in Dubai. Yes, Dublin doesn't have a particularly rich architectural history, hence the city's buildings are generally not as gigantic. The city's modest building stock is meant to preserve its historic value and character. In addition, skyscrapers would likely be a problem in an area with a relatively low rise, hilly topography. Why is there a height limit in Dublin? There is a debate going on in Dublin over whether there should be a height limit on new buildings. Dublin is generally a low rise city, and average building heights in the city are much lower than in other comparably sized cities. While the city's low-rise character is an asset to its appeal, it shouldn't be the only factor that shapes the city's skyline. The city's policymakers should be aware of the evidence from other cities and then use that knowledge to make appropriate decisions. In addition to the height limit, the city's development plan does not list a specific limit on the height of landmark buildings. However, it does have a hierarchy of height categories, with the tallest buildings receiving landmark status. Why are Dublin buildings short? The city has an enormous and filled potential, but the problem is finance. Buildings in Dublin can be as high as 60 meters. The city is also short of office space. But this problem does not have to be permanent. There are several ways to deal with it. One way is to build taller and denser buildings. In the early 17th century, Dublin was booming. The upper and middle classes had improved living standards. According to one writer, upper-class Dubliners lived in houses that were much bigger than their ancestors. In the early 18th century, the city's population had reached 60,000. This made Dublin the second largest city in the British Empire after London. At the same time, the city's tenement buildings had become notorious. Will Dublin have skyscrapers? The proposed Dublin Development Plan 2022-2028 proposes updating Dublin's building height limits. The draft document does not specify a specific height limit, but does describe three categories of buildings. The tallest buildings are given a landmark classification. A landmark is a building that is at least 20 stories high. Historically, Dublin has not been known for its architectural diversity, so the existing buildings are modest in height. This is meant to maintain the city's character and historic value. As a result, a skyscraper in Dublin would be an unusually tall and visually impactful building. The Dublin City Council recently introduced a proposal to allow high-rise developments in certain areas of the city. The proposal would be more in line with the rest of Europe, where the majority of buildings are four to five stories. Is Dublin flat or hilly? Ireland is a low-lying country surrounded by mountain ranges. The country's midlands include the Mourns, Glens of Antrim, Sparren, Bluestack, and Neffenbeg Mountains. The Dublin city centre is flat, with very few hills or peaks. Is Dublin a developed city? The question of whether Dublin is a developed city may seem complicated. However, there is plenty of data available, which can help answer this question. A large number of multinational companies have operations in Dublin, including IBM, Microsoft, and Google. In addition, many of the largest companies have large manufacturing plants in the surrounding area. The president, Michael D. Higgins, of Ireland lives in the north side. The public transportation system in Dublin is composed of buses. The Dublin Bus Company operates a network of nearly 200 daytime routes. Routes are sometimes identified by a letter suffix, such as D or R. Some buses are also available on nighttime schedules. Dublin's infrastructure has undergone many changes in recent years. The city's transportation, housing, and business sectors have all undergone major transformations. The city's infrastructure now consists of a mix of state and private development. In fact, some street corners bear the names of former businesses.